there, it's Tracy here from the Westbury Public Library. Welcome to our gentle chair yoga session. So just a reminder, I'll post the link in the posting here, but all of our previous sessions are um, archived on our YouTube channel. So always feel free to reference back to those. Hope everyone's staying nice and cozy and warm and safe. So what we'll do today actually, if um, we're gonna start standing, so just coming up, we're gonna use our chair. I'll just turn mine to the side, just so you can see here. You can do this at your chair, just make sure that it's not gonna slide away from you or move around too much, or even at a desk or a countertop or a table. So what we're going to do is just take a moment and we're gonna start to walk away from the chair. You're going to bend your knees a little bit, have a little bit of space between your feet, about hip distance or maybe even wider. And then just start to gently bend your knees as you pull your spine back, pull the hips back. So you have a nice long spine here. And we're going to bring the forearms onto the desk or the chair that you have. You can cross and grab onto opposite forearm. We're just going to pull the hips back, so with the knees bent, so you have maybe a stretch in the back of your legs, but length to your spine. And we're just going to rest the head down. So resting your forehead onto the forearms. And just take a moment, maybe close your eyes here, and just start to take some deep focused breaths. These breaths can be in and out of the nostrils, or even maybe sending an audible breath or a sigh out the mouth. Just releasing maybe any tension. So you'll notice there's a stretch along the side of the body and the arms and the armpits. So just bending the knees as much as you can to feel really comfortable here. Just let the belly soften and just taking a few breaths. starting to come up here, walking the feet maybe a little closer to your chair, and we'll bring the hands onto the back of the chair if you're on your desk or countertop. And again, starting to walk the hips away from you and reaching long through the spine, maybe opening the fingers and spreading the palms wide, just pressing down here. Have lots of space between the hands so the shoulders can relax. And that nice deep bend in the knees to lengthen the spine here. So again, taking a few more breaths, maybe bending one knee at a time. Nice, and then bending the knees and lifting up to the chest as you walk towards your chair or your desk or your table. And then we'll just come to standing beside the chair. Just finding yourself standing nice and tall. Maybe just wiggle out through the legs a bit. Spread the toes and rest them down. Taking that opposite arm, the arm away that's on the opposite side of your chair. Reaching it up and then over. Just finding a nice side bend here. Just taking a few breaths. up tall and then we'll move back into that so reaching through that whole side of the body as you press down through the feet maybe lifting the chest up towards the sky nice then coming up tall we're going to continue with that arm reaching it back behind you and nice full circle here as you reach it forward up 
and back and maybe even gazing back behind you towards that hand. So finding a little bit of a rotation here, even in the spine as you do that, turning the head and neck and just breathing slowly, softly, full circles here. Allow your eyes and gaze to follow that hand. Slow it down a little bit. Full breath in. Reaching back, turning through the body, through the hips and the spine. And one more time, just completing that circle wherever you are. And then relax that down. We'll move that over to the other side. So just having the chair or a countertop here to hold on to. Taking that opposite arm up and then over to the other side. So really pressing down through the feet, feeling yourself rooting to rise up and lift and open through that side. Relaxing the opposite shoulder. Breathing here. up, nice and tall, and back over. Maybe lifting that chest and gaze up towards the sky. And then up, tall. And then we'll find those nice big full circles on this side. So reaching the arm forward, up, and back as you turn back behind you and turn to gaze, maybe even watching the hand in that whole full circle. Allowing your spine to rotate here, reaching up and back. One more time, finishing off that full circle wherever you are. Nice. And then allowing that to release. We'll turn again to face towards the chair. And stepping back with one foot, keeping some space between the feet and pressing that back leg and foot down in towards the ground. So pressing through the heel and bending through that front leg that front knee, just making sure that you feel sturdy and that you can stand up nice and tall here. Either holding on to the chair or clasping the hands in front of you, maybe just pressing through the fingers and through the palms. So depending where you are, perhaps even reaching the arms up and then release the hands down towards your chair. And then stepping forward, we'll take that to the other side, pressing that back heel down, bending into that front knee, making sure that you feel sturdy and stable here, relaxing the shoulders, either keeping the hands here on the chair or bringing them together, clasping maybe the opposite way you normally do and pressing through the palms. Relax the shoulders, feel stretch in the upper back as you then press the palm up towards the sky and release them down to your side. Nice, and then we'll step towards that chair again. This time, having your back towards the chair, grabbing for the back of your chair. And then starting to walk away from the chair just a little bit so that you can then start to lift the chest up as you press down through the heels, through the feet. Feel that foundation. And then as you lift the gaze, maybe drawing the shoulder blades back towards each other, sending the hips forward. Just breathing here. And 
Nice, and then releasing from that. Let's take a moment, just kind of shake that out a little bit, and we'll come down to our chair. So finding that sturdy place at the edge of the chair, where you're not slouching into the back, but the feet can land down onto the ground, and that you can find a nice tall spine. So just taking a moment here. And we'll start to just uh, stretch the head and neck. So dropping the chin towards the chest, not allowing your spine to round into that, but feeling maybe length through the spine and a stretch to the back of the neck. And then lifting the chin up towards the sky. And back down towards your chest. And just take your time moving really slowly, breathing softly, maybe allow the lower jaw to relax. And that stretch. Nice, and then just lifting up through center, turning the head from side to side. And when turning the head, also turn the eyes a little bit further, maybe even then the head can turn, just moving the eyes out of that fixed position. Nice, and then back through center. We'll drop <laughs> one ear to one shoulder and reach out through that opposite arm if that's comfortable. Just rolling that shoulder back and turning the palm to face forward. So the thumbs up towards the sky. And maybe that feels a little bit different here. But then you're gonna tuck the thumb in and wrap the fingers around that thumb. And then kind of reach the thumb away from you. So that might feel like a stretch to your forearm as well as all the way up into the neck and the shoulder. Just breathing here. Moving a little bit through the head and neck, lifting the chin or lowering the chin. Nice, and then just releasing from that. Moving that to the other side, so dropping your ear in the opposite direction, reaching that arm out, palm faces forward. Just take a moment, roll the shoulder back, just find a comfortable place here. Tucking the thumb in, wrapping the fingers around the thumb, and then reaching the thumb and that side of the hand away from you. Getting a little sensation maybe in the forearm. Maybe lifting the chin to the sky or dropping the chin back down. arms out in front of you, either on the thighs or the knees, and then tucking your tailbone as you round through your spine and tuck your chin. And then guide this movement from the bottom up, so pressing into the floor and into the seat, and lifting through the chest and heart as you roll the shoulders back, lifting the gaze. So really focus on the spine here. So we were doing this earlier with the head and neck, now moving through the spine, so this drawing back of the shoulder blades, and a rounding of the shoulders and upper back and the tailbone. Two more full breaths with this movement. And then up nice and tall. Very good. Let's just do a few rolls of the shoulders. Nice. Bringing the hands together so the backs of the palms touch and the fingertips point down. Just relax through the shoulders and maybe sway through the fingertips a little bit here. Just stretching the backs of the hands. Nice. And then 
then bring the palms together. You just bring the, the center of the hands together. Relax the shoulders. We're gonna create a little bit of pressure here. So you're gonna push together with your in breath and then on your out breath, relax that pressure. And maybe close your eyes with this. Feel your in breath then start to press down through the feet as you press the palms together. Feel that lengthen up through the spine, through the crown of your head, and then your exhale relaxes that. So it's almost like you're engaging the whole body here as you press down, maybe even squeeze the legs a little bit as you press into the feet and the palms, and then release with your out breath. So doing that a few times here, full breath in, engage, press down, press together, exhale, release all of that. down to the feet now. So pressing into the toes, lifting the heels, and pressing the feet back down. Just doing that a few times, either one at a time, or both feet together. Just a little warming up with the lower body here. Nice, let that relax. We'll take that right knee as you lean back a little bit into your chair and grabbing onto that knee, either the top of the knee or under the thigh as you lift and lengthen the chest, pull the shoulders back. We're just breathing here for a moment. And then sitting up tall, we'll take that ankle and cross it over the opposite knee. And sitting up tall, either grabbing onto the chair, holding onto the legs, maybe leaning forward and lengthening through the spine. This might be a really intense stretch, so you may even lengthen or reach that opposite leg out and lean back. So just doing what feels comfortable. Nice, and then sitting up tall. We'll take the opposite hand to grab onto that knee that's bent and move into a twist here. So just gently moving spine, gazing over that opposite shoulder, and then we'll do that in the opposite direction. So maybe grabbing the ankle or the bottom of the foot, sitting up tall, and turning to a twist here. Nice. And then releasing back, we'll set that foot down. Taking the opposite leg up towards you, Sitting tall, shoulders back, squeezing into that hip and hip flexor, maybe on top of the knee or underneath the knee. And then we'll take that foot and cross it over the opposite knee. So we're moving into a stretch here, even just coming into the shape might be enough. Maybe extending that leg or hinging at the hips, lengthening through the spine and the crown of the head and breathing here. that opposite hand to the knee that's bent, maybe to the back of your chair, turning towards a twist here. Changing directions, grabbing onto the bottom of the foot or ankle, twisting opposite. Nice, and then coming back to center and releasing from that stretch. Just rooting down through the feet for a moment, sitting up tall, and we'll bring one hand to the chest and one hand to the belly. That's comfortable, just relaxing here, maybe even closing your eyes. We'll just enjoy a few quiet breaths together before you move back out and into your day and the start of your evening. softening the jaw, the face, 
And just feeling the breath move in and out of the nostrils, into the palms of your hands, the fullness of your body. Maybe taking a few more moments in quiet or silence, if you have that available. If not, just honoring yourself, feeling grateful for these few moments we've had together today. I look forward to seeing you hopefully next Thursday at 4 o'clock. So we're here live every Thursday at 4 o'clock for a gentle chair yoga. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Bye-bye.